Perfect weather? Dang. Perfect weather in Tijuana. What is perfect weather in Tijuana, man? That's what I want to know. Actually, that's true. Is it like cold? Is it warm? Like, what? what's their standard? Is, yeah. yeah, what is the standard? But getting into this first match, we have uh, Sharp going as the DDD, and uh, I believe it's RJ going as Donkey Kong. You know what's funny? This is a matchup that I feel, even though, like, I've been seeing a lot of people say, like, oh, you know, DK loses to a lot of characters, he has a lot of bad matchups, right? But honestly, what he makes up for in a lot of weaknesses is just raw strength and his ability, and not only his ability, but you as a player. It's, if you can mix up your opponent really well, unfortunate stuff for RJ because he wanted to hold off away from the Gordo, but if you can mix your, like, a your opponent up really well and instill that fear factor on them you can do really really well with dk we've seen that happen like so many times like dk is bad but dk is only bad up to a certain point after that it just becomes the player's fault yeah i mean he does have like a good a few good combos like up throw up air or up throw nair and then he can also his back air is also pretty good and don't forget uh a lot of people do get annoyed over his role like it's pretty fast and also it, go it goes for longer than he expected yeah that roll it has a very very long hit detection that if you're not ready it will definitely catch you it's good for catching uh your opponent off guard really really rough stuff for here for rj because he has been getting by nido's nido sharps aerials quite a few times but let's think about ddd is like he has all those jumps and abilities to put out those aerials out there rj is looking for some kind of grab here at this point uh, it may or may not be enough. I was gonna say, yeah, he can still mash out. It may or may not be enough. Good for the down tilt because that still has a tripping factor, which will set up into a lot of opportunities for DK, which you, which you want to always do. Down tilt has a pretty solid range, right? On top of the tripping and also spacing, it becomes a really good tool for DK to use in the neutral. All right, looks like uh, right now, uh, Nido Sharp has uh, just lost his first stock, but he's still sitting at 0%. RJ is going to have to bring it back. He does have his, uh, 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 his uh, monkey punch, my bad, giant punch fully charged. And hopefully he can try to get a combo and end it off with the giant punch. So let's see what he can do. Oh, using the down tilt. Let's, as you said, that tripping factor is very useful. And getting the back air, you shouldn't have used that Gordo right there. Uh, the Gordo throw uh, really did mess him up and kind of like Inkling if you charge it from too far or like if it's possible for the opponent to get close they'll oh, take the opportunity. No. RJ, using... No! RJ! <laughs> no! Using the hand slap to break the shield and steal that game at 131%. That's why you don't want to mess with DK when he's at when he has rage. Oh I'm man. telling you I told you guys right now he people say oh this character is bad doesn't have good matchups having bad matchups is only up to a point man rj had this man nido up in the corner and forgot that down special has a lot of shield damage that if you held shield at least like for two three whole seconds your shield is breaking that was some crazy stuff from rj but also really good trigger war um trigger god why am i losing the term here really good trigger hold there just because in that particular situation, he got the shield break, so he knew he only had to push King Dedede by the body and not hit him to cause him to fall below the stage. Any other situation, if he had literally hit any move or tried to go for a style combo, that would have messed up so much. But literally, RJ was able to just come back, just basically holding the trigger on hitting D um, King Dedede. There's a term for it. I don't know why I'm forgetting at this moment, at this moment in time. But nonetheless, gets up to RJ, able to come back. Uh, sharp. Like I said, he's been going kind of all random, so I'm kind of surprised he did that well, but also surprised that, like, he still lost. Wow, okay, I guess he's going K. Rule. I think he's going by what maybe his chat is telling him. All right, I'm just uh, preparing my PC for this next fight. All right, uh, looks like it's uh, they're going... The antagonist versus the protagonist of, uh, Do I think it's Donkey Kong Country 64. Yeah. Uh, yes. Crazy. I, 
the 64 games as well as, well as the, the Game Boy Advance games and Donkey Kong Country in general. I think King K. Rool has definitely been a thorn on DK's side quite several times. Uh, crazy stuff how both of these characters are in this game. Actually, just K. Rool in this game. This is That was one character I never thought we would see. What a great toss to go for the cargo throw. It's really difficult to mash out a cargo throw at higher percents, which makes it really good for DK to just carry you off stage that way and just give you that big yeet. Uh, really good use of the empty hop here. No tomahawk grab coming out here for Nido Sharp. Uh, RJ is doing so good. Gets the nair in the back air. And of course, your opponent has to be facing away from you to work that way to get that really good nair back air. Yeah, Nido Sharp uh, is getting RJ to high percent. Oh, good tech there for, uh, from RJ to survive right there. But also at the same time, it didn't look like that did too much knockback. So even if he didn't tech, I think he would have been fine. Nido Sharp getting back to ledge right now. Good reading of the back, uh, using the back air to keep Nido Sharp on his toes when missing that uh, that hand slap in midair. Another back air from Ledge. He's using these back airs like there's no tomorrow. Like it's a really good tool, like Vance said. And that uh, down throw to forward smash is gonna end off RJ's first stock. But to continue what I said, Vance did say that the back air is a good tool. It has good range and also good knockback. And it does last for a little a while, longer than a lot of, uh, a, a little while. So you can use it to uh, edge guard and whatnot. So it's a very good tool. Oh, it's really tough for Sharp here. Good to use neutral air because he does get that armor from the belly. Big problem there is that you don't want to land on DK like that. What a back air oh, from Sharp. Oh, wow. That, that forward air right there, like, he just dunked on him. Like Mario's forward air just got dunked on. Yeah, uh, sorry, K. Rool's back air is pretty crazy because just the way it spikes, but also how sudden it comes out. It's one of those moves that really do aggravate me, but it's really good for K. Rool to be able to put it off out there just because he has a really solid recovery. It's not the best recovery, but you know what? It, it, it's able to put in work. It's able to get him back on the stage and has a hitbox on top of it. So definitely has a weakness, but it has a really decent strength. Uh, for RJ in particular here, honestly, all he has to do is keep on the spacing. That back air is going to be proof of that. And he will take that with 2-0 so far. Uh, remember, this is winner semis. It is best of five, so RJ has another opportunity here to still come back. And also, a good thing about DK's back air is that uh, it, it comes up really fast. And you can, like, it's, it's kind of like Inklings, but it does last longer. And it's bigger. So, it, it goes up pretty fast and extremely strong. So, that's one, that's one tool that... Uh, if you pl play against the Donkey Kong, that's one tool that they will be using a lot. But one thing that I was also surprised of is I didn't see, um, I didn't see RJ being off stage that much, except for edge guarding, like being off stage as in disadvantage wise. Yeah, uh, Sharp was honestly just looking for an opening at that point. And w once you do get DK off stage, it is kind of open season. You're a your ability to edge guard him and get him off the stage is all depending on your character's tools, but also how well you utilize those tools. For Inkling, that's just almost a no-brainer. Inkling has things like back air, forward air, down air, where there's disjointed. If your character has a disjoint against DK, nine times out of 10, it'll be a huge, huge problem for him, particularly in this matchup too, just because, how, like I said, back air, forward air, down air all work against DK, but also Inkling's ability to kind of like no pun intended, as the tag sees there, he's able to just beat rush you down. He has, Inkling has the speed to kind of close in the gap at an instant, and then the ability to just walk away from DK and out, out maneuver him. Yeah. Um, also, Inkling's forward air and back air are very good for uh, leading up into grab situations and tech situations, uh, which can be, uh, you could try to read their tech by just using the roller, that's one thing that roller is really good for is reading techs. And it's, it's not really super high risk because, I mean, if they do tech, they'll probably have a little bit of lag and you'll have some time to get out of your roller. But it is high reward if you do land it, so. Oh, no, right oh, out of visibility. You can still recover. Yeah. Oh, no, the near oh, the last wow. second, too. Uh, Inkling does not have a hitbox at, at the, all the way through. It's only on the way down. Wow. Okay, I'm sorry. That was that oh, scared yeah, me. The, if he got the, the actual, in the end. yeah. If if he got, oh no way. If I were sharp, I would be so upset. 
The thing oh was doing, he spent so much time off the stage. Like you could just tell RJ saw him off the stage. He wanted him gone within an instant. Jesus, that had to hurt. Uh, for Sharp, though, still looking to come back on the stage. Oh, well, the thing about Sharp here is he's been doing a pretty solid job of using back air. But just the ability to kind of combo D DK comes from you being actually able to juggle him. Unfortunate stuff because this Ding is Battlefield. Dong. Yeah, and because it's Battlefield, DK has access to Ding, Kong, Ding Dong. And that, yep. my friends, is how you lose this one. Jesus, that hurt. Like, I wouldn't have not gone back to the stage just because you don't want to give DK the platforms. Dang, RJ dominated that last that last game. 